student welcome to the one more session of uh, microcontroller and embedded lab laboratory this is osan naik from kendra engineering college in this session we will see how to interface dc motor to lpc 2148 kit lpc 2148 kit is based on arm 7 tdi mi processor so this is the program we will try to execute the program by using keel software and at the end of the program we will see the demonstration of how to interface a dc motor to the lpc2148 so before going to the program let me explain some of the basic things related to dc motor so dc motor is any class of rotary electrical motors that converts direct current electrical energy into mechanical energy so it converts the direct current and the electrical energy into mechanical rotation energy or rotation the most common types rely on the forces produced by the magnetic fields so this is the motor you see here this is the motor let me this is the dc motor schematic of the dc motor inside the dc motor this is the actually this is the uh, stator part of the motor and this is the rotor part this is actually armature this is called as armature so stator part contains north pole and south pole that north pole and south pole north pole and south pole and when you pass the current to this armature because of the magnetic field this armature rotates this rotates so so this is the uh, schematic uh, internal view of the dc motor this is the uh, stator part actually it contains north pole and south pole and we have armature this armature will rotate and this armature we are going to there, there, there are two connection from this armature we are going to connect this to the uh, lpc2148 based microcontroller so in the diagram you can see there are two connections from the armature which will be connected to the uh, two pins on the lpc2148 for the explanation purpose we have taken here port 0 pin number 11 and port 0 pin number 8 one end of the armature is connected to port 0 pin number 11 and port 0 other end is connected to port 0 pin number 8 so this is the typical diagram you you see here normally dc motor you cannot connect directly to the lpc2148 controller it should be connected through dc motor driver ic so L, l293d is the dc motor driver ic so dc motor is connected to the dc motor driver ic that is the driver module from the driver module you will connect two connection to the lpc2148 in the diagram 0.8 is connected to 1a and 0.11 is connected to 2a these are the two connections two connections of lpc2148 now uh, for the explanation purpose as example we have taken the pin number 0.11 and pin number 0 port number 0.11 and port number 0.8 so Uh, in the actual demonstration we have used different pins that is pin number port number 0.16 and port number 0.19 but for the explanation purpose i have taken port number 0.11 and port number 0.8 so if this both pins are 0 0 that is these both pins are taken as output port output pin output port or uh, sorry output pin na? and uh, if it is 0 0 motor will remain off if it is 1 0 it the motor will rotate in clockwise direction if it is 0 1 motor will rotate in the anti clockwise direction so uh, now you need to understand gpio registers so uh, uh, gpio register what we use here so here we use gpio register io0 dir what is this io0 dir io0 dir is used it is a 32 bit register used to set the particular pin direction like you can configure the particular pin of the port 0 as either input port uh, input pin or output pin 
so according to our application we need need to configure pin 0.8 and pin 0.11 so if you start from here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so you need to configure both pin as a output so you need to write one and one on the both pin when you write one and one and if you convert the rest of the pins i will set it as a zero then zero means rest of the pins are as a input pin and this pin acts like a output pin so then the final value you will get hexadecimal value you will get 0 0 0 0 0 9 0 0 now other than that you need to use clear io clear io zero clear this is the 32 bit register if you write something in this register as a one then that particular bit will be cleared so if you want to see well, during the uh, when you want to uh, switch off the motor you need to write uh, you need to clear bit zero port zero uh, pin number eight and port zero pin number eleven you need to clear port zero pin number eight and port zero pin number eleven for that you need to write uh, on the corresponding uh, uh, bit of io0 clear register 1 and 1 if you write 1 and 1 that particular bit will be cleared if you write 1 and 1 then the particular bit will be cleared and uh, that time motor action will be off now io set register io set register is used to set the value so depending on the requirements uh, for clockwise rotation uh, you need to set 1 and 0 that is 1 and 0 and the corresponding value is 0x00080 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. and for anti clockwise uh, rotation uh, the value you have to set is 0 and 1 the corresponding value is 0x00100 0, 0, 0, 0. these two things uh, you need to understand to rotate the motor in the clockwise direction you need to write in io zero set register this value and to rotate the motor in anti clockwise direction you need to write io zero set register this value now we will proceed to the program part so uh, in our in our uh, program we have designed the io0 dir and uh, io0 dir according to uh, the the according to the design given by the manufacturer of the kit so according to the design given by the manufacturer of the kit we are going to connect dc motor to frc1 connector on the frc1 connector on the board so let me show you the board architecture So this is the board architecture, uh, LPC it is based on LPC2148 uh, control microcontroller, you can see here LPC2148 microcontroller and we have uh, 5 uh, FRC connectors are there, FRC is nothing but flat ribbon cable connector. So all the connectors, 4 connectors are FRC1, FRC3, 4, 5 are 10 pin and FRC2 is 16 pin. So in FRC1 we need to connect DC motor model to the FRC1. So this is the pin number 1 and this is the pin number 2, 3, uh, so this is the pin number 1. And the corresponding pin details we will see in FRC1 pin configuration. We will move to the FRC1 pin configuration. So this is the FRC1 pin configuration, pin number 1 is 16. Pin number 2 is 17, 3 is 18, 4 is 19, 5 is 20, 6 is 21, 7 is 22, 8 is 23, 9 is 5 volt and 10 is ground. So what we do is uh, we need to connect two wires from the uh, driver IC of the DC motor to FRC connector. So the, uh, the two pins were which were for which we are going to connect the armature are pin number 16 and 19. So you need to configure pin number 16 and 19 as a output pole, output pin. So you need to configure the direction of pin number 16 and 19 as a output. So let me show you first the IO 
directory zero register in our case is like you see it is a 32 bit register so so i will configure pin number 16 and 19 as output port so when you configure 16 and 19 as a output pin and rest of the all are input pin that is pin num this is bit number 0 or bit number 0 of the io directory 0 register and this is bit number 31 and uh, 16th pin i will configure as a output direction and 19th pin i will configure as a output direction so when you convert this entire this one into hexadecimal you will get 0 0 0 nine zero 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 so i need to write in io dir zero register is equal to zero x zero 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 nine zero 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 so so let me explain the program so we need to connect the dc motor module to the frc1 connector by using frc cable now First include the header files for LPC2148 board by using LPC2148H file. So LPC2148X is a generic header file which can be used for 4X board, 214X board. Then I have three prototype for the function that I am going to define later. One is clockwise, other one is anti-clockwise, both are void type type oil and it will not take any argument or parameters the, the third one is a delay which is a void type it will return nothing but it will take the argument as a integer value as an argument or parameter then i have taken one variable j of type int is equal to zero now in the main function first in the main function i will set io0 dir register with this value as explained earlier then in the while loop i will call clockwise function then i will give some delay then i will call anti clockwise function then i will give some delay so this is this is not required as because we have written this statement in the function itself this is not required so let us see now the function the clockwise uh, function first i will switch off the motor so uh, before you rotate the motor either in the clockwise or anti-clockwise direction you need to switch off the motor and give some delay so what i will do is uh, i will switch off the motor by using io0 clear register with this value as explained earlier then i will call delay then i will uh, set the motor to uh, rotate in the clockwise direction similarly for anti-clockwise uh, i will first switch off the motor by using io0 clear then I will uh, call the delay and I will set the motor to rotate in the anti-clockwise direction by giving this value. Now what is there in the delay? So in the delay, so we have nested loop here, nested loop here, whatever uh, argument you pass to the delay function will be taken here and uh, this, uh, the, this for loop will uh, repeat, this for loop will uh, continuously repeat uh, these many times to generate uh, delay of uh, uh, particular uh, time amount so students this is a this is the program so now we will see how to execute this program in the keel software so let me switch on the keel software i have microvision 4 keel microvision 4 version so in this one in this one i will first open the project because i have already created the project so i will go to open project and in that i will select the hardware folder in the hardware folder i have created separate folder for the separate experiment so in fact i have created the main folder like hardware and software in hardware we have I have stored, I have created a separate folder for each experiment. So I will, I will go to the experiment number 11. So here, sorry, it is experiment number 10. So let me go to experiment number 10. So here we have a project DC motor. I will open that project. So when you open that project, the particular file will, uh, file will be, uh, file has opened, particular file has opened here. You can see the particular file. That is the, that is the program for DC motor. 
so in your first only thing is your you need to remember that you need to add startup.s because you are going to execute the program which is written in embedded c which requires startup.s other than that uh, before compiling the program you need to do some settings in the target folder so in the target option so the settings are first you need to select device lpc 2148 then target in the target option you need to enable micro lib and uh, uh, the, um, uh, this crystal frequency should be 12 megahertz in the output you need to select uh, create exa file you need to enable this option this will be disabled you need to enable this option under listing uh, this will be disabled c processing listing you need to enable it under user no changes under c++ no changes then under link uh, this will be disabled you need to enable this one so once this is done you need to compile the program so you should get zero errors and zero warnings then you need to build the program so it will create the exa file uh, under the name of dc motor project that is the under the name of project itself then if you want you can rebuild it rebuild it once this is done then you need to transfer this file transfer this uh, uh, exa file so the exa file is created let us see whether uh, the the exa file where it is created i will go to the particular folder in my uh, drive i will select i will go to the folder hardware and 11th experiment sorry so it is 10th experiment in the 10th experiment here exa file dc motor prz.exa file it has created the exa file this file we are going to dump into the controller by using flash magic so so you need to open the flash magic and simultaneously you need to do the hardware connection by connecting the dc motor module to the lpc2148 in the flash magic uh, you need to select the device then you need to select the com port to see the com port you need to go to my computer properties device manager in the device manager, once you connect the LPC2148 to the board, you can check the COM port. Right now, I don't have LPC2148 board with me because of uh, lockdown. So once you connect the LPC2148, uh, this will list the COM port in the device manager. So normally it, is, normally it will be port 3 only. So you need to select the COM, com port. Then you need to select the baud rate. Baud rate should be minimum 9600. Uh, 9600 so i will select 19200 then interface should be non isp oscillator frequency is 12 megahertz then after that you need to select the file so go to the particular experiment uh, that is experiment number 10 in my case experiment number 10 and i will select the exa file after that you need to en enable the option like erase the block used by the exa uh, file this will uh, before loading the exa file into the flash memory it will erase uh, the block used by the earlier exa file then it will or the this option will verify after transmitting that file to the board controller it will verify whether it is the file has been transmitted properly or not after that you need to click on start this will transmit this will transfer the file from exa file from your computer to the lpc2148 board microcontroller that is the flash rom to the on the microcontroller so here here uh, uh, for time being i will show you uh, how to execute this program by uh, by clicking on debug when you click on debug uh, it will go to debug mode now in debug mode uh, let me go to peripherals and let me open this uh, interface uh, that is gpio slow interface for port 0 because we have used port 0 in our case and let me execute the program when you execute the program you can see here bit 16 and bit 19 will be enabled it's enabled here like uh, io zero directory is enabled you can see here io zero directory bit uh, 16 and bit 19 we made as output then io set uh, like bit this 19 bit will be enabled for some time after that 16 bit will be enabled for clockwise and uh, anti clockwise so this bit will be enabled for the clockwise and this bit will be enabled for the anti-clockwise it will give some delay after that it will enable this bit so you can see this one 
So this is the program how you execute DC motor. Along with this program, I will attach the video captured in the lab. Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you.